Real What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Real Spill. Today, it's me, you know, nigga, the Real host, Spiel, and my guy, Miles Owen, my guy, Dion Lacey. Um, as, it, as it's going on right now, it's the NBA Finals. We have the Bucks and the Suns. Uh, it's been an interesting series so far through the first three games. Now we're on the game four, which will be airing tomorrow. Uh, moving on with that. <coughs> I want to ask you guys, throughout these NBA playoffs, there's been a lot of injuries to a lot of key superstars, um, key role players in some positions. I want to ask you guys, will there be an asterisk on this ring for this upcoming season? At least you want to go first this time? <laughs> Man, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's an asterisk uh, with this finals because obviously last year, uh, me and Young both say it was the Disneyland ring <laughs> and the bubble and all the COVID situation was the reason that took place and the Lakers was really given their championship ring. But this year, no, because they opened up their arenas. I mean, although COVID is still here, I mean, you have more fa- you having fans in the arenas too. And the competition is stiff, but semi stiff because most players – that was all star type players was hurt, but I don't, I don't, I don't think that still was the outcome of it being an Astrid mark of this year's finals. Uh, obviously, the West best team didn't make it, but mm-hmm. they came, they was in the conference finals. But although their best player didn't play, and you saw the outcome was that, and then obviously the Eastern Conference, if the loaded Brooklyn Nets. Had everybody, they would have, they would have probably swept, swept the Bucks. So, I mean, competitive, competitiveness. You got the best team from the um, Suns, <laughs> <laughs> and the and the Bucks kind of got it was given. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So I see, I see, I see what you're saying. So yeah, I mean, it, it's fun to watch, but it wasn't no powerhouse team. Let's just say that. So you so you saying what's your, what's your answer to the question? You, is it deserve no. asterisk or not? Nah, I don't, it don't I don't think it should be an asterisk. Yeah, I said I was saying same. I was gonna say the same thing. I don't know where you were going. I yeah, thought I you said saying, Kobe. Yeah, you I was, said COVID. 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 Oh yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. yeah. Bit, oh, I, I was a little bit aware though, but shit. For you, first I gotta um, I gotta talk about what you talk about. Talking about Disneyland ring and all that. <laughs> I don't really. I, first of all, I just start hearing that people calling it the Disneyland. Oh, ring. Oh, they've been calling it for a long time. Yeah, the Mickey Mouse and all that. First of all. LeBron them still had to win. Like still had to win. Cause I don't believe I honestly truly believe the Heat would have beat the Lakers in the bubble. Wouldn't nobody call it Diddy Land, it would be you feel me. LeBron got beat. But it, in either way it go, um No, I don't think this deserves extra. Yes, it has been a whole bunch of ir- uh, a whole bunch of injuries. But the Suns have suffered injuries. CP got hurt, Devin Book suffered broken nose, and now they got um Sark, who, um, what his name? ACL. Yeah, ACL, ACL something yeah. like that. Um, and, and the Bucks have no injured players. You see what I'm saying? Like, the Bucks, they're, they're not the best team from the East, but they have no injured players, and the Suns should be battling through through injuries, too. So, I don't really think it's an uh, asterisk by this one, because it's not an asterisk by last year ring. <laughs> but, you be. know what I'm saying? We, we, we can keep talking about it. Go ahead, Young. Okay, yeah, so... My position is different. Uh, I feel like it should be an asterisk for this season. I mean, at the end of the day, when I'm watching these finals, I mean, they they pretty good to watch. But I got I don't know if y'all get the feeling, but when I watch it, like I I got know these aren't the two best teams. Uh, these aren't the two best teams in the yeah, finals. Fix. You know what I'm saying? No no disrespect to Chris Paul, Devin Booker, uh, Giannis, Chris Middleton, all those guys. They put in the work, uh, and they you know came up and was able to uh, get to the NBA finals. But let's just be real though. This playoffs was all decided on really what team was the healthiest throughout the playoffs. And we gotta look at we gotta look at both of these teams um their pathways to get to the NBA finals with the Suns. Started off uh a LeBron coming off an ankle injury and an Anthony Davis that got out after what game two. Yeah. Then second second round, Nuggets, no Jamal Murray, Will Barton came back like game two. Clippers, Kawhi Leonard is not on there and takes the and the Clippers still take them to six games. So um, I feel like I can point to at least two series uh, indefinitely that I feel like if those players were there, they would not have advanced. Uh, the Bucks, 
Uh, starting off with the, with the Nets, no uh, no James Harden to begin to begin the series. Uh, he hurts his AC. Uh, I want to say hamstring. ACL, hamstring. hamstring. Hurts his hamstring. hamstring. Then Kyrie Irving goes down. Then James Harden comes back, but it's clearly hobbled. Nowhere near 100% for the rest of that series. And they they win that in six games. So, I feel like a football team, that would beat them. Then with the Hawks, Trey Young goes out. The last game he played clearly wasn't himself. Mm. Clearly wasn't 100%. But they still the Bucks still advance. So, I mean. And I guess you're going to say the Heat. No bam, really. Like talking about. In that sweep. I mean, I, I I give him credit for that one. I, I didn't I didn't say I didn't mention the Heat. I'm not I'm even. I'm just trying to make sure. I'm just trying to make sure. We lost. We lost. But um, as I just but I just gave you five scenarios where not role players but star players were out in those series. Star players that could have probably changed the factor of the, all those games. So I but I, I can't give them full. I can't just say that like. Whoever team win, I'm not gonna say they was the best team in the NBA. But I can't, I can't give them that. But Giannis was hurt too. But he bounced back like, yeah, like, like it wasn't even nothing. Yeah. So what you, what you guys, are, you, you guys are saying due to the viability of the team, both of those teams also suffering injury with their stars being able to come back. Um, yeah. Throughout those, throughout those playoffs. Um, but even still, though, like that next series, Giannis was there the whole series. He was there the whole series. They were healthy the whole series. So. It was fully healthy Nets, fully healthy Bucks. Who you think gonna win? Now let's be real. Like injuries happen in the playoffs. Injuries happen in the playoffs. But this year was an abnormal year where multiple injuries in to key superstars throughout this playoff. So I mean, I, that's just why I gotta put an asterisk on there. And real quick to your point, Miles on the Mickey Mouse Disneyland ring. If the Miami Heat would have won, and we pulled out, we pulled what we did. We still end up going to see the Bucks this year and getting swept. They were going to say that that ring was was really discounted due to the fact that we probably they would say we had an advantage of us being into the bubble. The bubble was an advantage for for, for some teams though. I I can't I can't discredit that. But that's that's just, that's why the, the the overall consensus sometimes feel like it's it's an asterisk to that ring. But I gotta put an asterisk to this ring due to the fact that they never really played any team at the at the hundred at a hundred percent never in any other series that they played. Yeah, and I mean, oh, go ahead. neither of these teams were were ever recognized as the best team in that conference, even starting into the playoffs. So I I I, I just can't give them a hundred percent on that. You even say something, Lacey? No. I mean, yeah, I see what you're saying. I ain't. I'm not saying nothing you're saying wrong. But what I am saying is that CP did get hurt. Then book did break his nose. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they still came back. I mean, it's, yeah, it doesn't matter what the I, role players do then, when they get hurt. And then it should, it, it should if it's gonna be an issue by the ring, it should be an issue by the whole year because te- um, guys are getting injured all year due to the fact of the um of the of the season coming back. Quick turnaround, yeah, yeah, quick turnaround, stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't want to. I don't, wanna, I I don't wanna give no issue because I ain't give Braun no issue. It's just me personally. I, I mean, but see, I could I could even still make an argument that you can say that. The bubble ring was a little more valid than than uh, this ring coming up. No, nah, no, nah, you can't say you that. You can kind of make that due to the fact that every most of the teams that they played in the bubble, all the teams that played in the playoffs were pretty much healthy throughout, except for like that finals when the Heat lost Goran Dragic and Bam got hurt the first uh, two games. But you know, it's either here or there. I'm not gonna get into that right yeah. now. And you see guys from that team went missing this playoffs like Tyler Hero. Duncan. Yeah, but yeah. when I'm but I mean, it, I'm not even on the Heat. I'm just saying overall <laughs> though that. Injuries played a part in the outcome, like, and, and just about every series, every series that these teams have played, injuries have played an outcome. Look, just look at it. Like, I don't think the overall consensus was said the Suns would have beat the Lakers if they were fully healthy with a fully healthy LeBron and Anthony Davis had no problems. And I mean, I don't know about the Nuggets series. I still feel like it'll be, it definitely would, wouldn't have been a sweep, a sweep they with Jamal Murray there though, because Jamal Murray in the playoffs every last season of the playoffs he. Takes it to a whole other level, and the Clippers literally took them to six games with Paul George and Reggie Jackson being the one-two punch against the Suns. So, what do you think it would have been with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard? Shoot, Lacey, you had the Clippers beating them in that series. Yeah, I did. And you, you know, you told me Kawhi Leonard's gonna come back, but I still ain't. Well, I ain't well, never see him. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. So I can't give him full credit. I just can't give him full credit. Like, oh no, I never said they were getting credit. I gotta put an asterisk on it. I gotta put an asterisk on it. Injuries do happen. They are a part of the game, though. 
That's what it, it, that, that, that's just my opinion. And the and the sons did get hurt, and the young the youngest did suffer bad, and but he came back. So mm-hmm. okay, let me but let me bring it to another analogy though. Like okay, back uh, I forget what year that was, two thousand and four. Detroit Pistons beat the Los Lakers. Angeles Lakers. Yeah. Uh, they weren't universally recognized as the best team in the NBA, but they played uh, almost a dang near healthy Lakers squad. Cause Carl Malone was hurt uh, in that final. He didn't play, but they still played prime Kobe, prime Shaq. So, you know, they gave them their credit due to the fact that, you know, the team that they played, they went through, were all, were all healthy. So, I mean, with this, with this one, both of these teams aren't recognized as the best team in the NBA, and they've played. They've never played a team fully healthy throughout that stretch. So how can we recognize them to being champions that like they really put in hard work when they haven't played nobody 100 percent the whole st- the whole playoffs? Now them, now them, them facts right there. Them facts. So I, I that just got that wasn't prime Kobe, but this this here there that was prime Shaq for sure. But that was a prime Kobe. In 2004? Yes. Like, like that was Kobe. You know, like, that was Kobe getting into his prime. Like, so he was averaging like 29, 30 through that, that straight. Right, those uh, throws, that, those, finals, we, those, not, those finals runs. Look at it. Look at his numbers. We're not going to get in this debate. That was young Kobe. Then that Kobe went in 2010. Yes. Yeah. That's prime Kobe. I, <laughs> Kobe. I mean, Lace. Yes. That boy been prime, G. Lace. That boy like been I said, prime. That's here. That we're we, we not going to go into that stuff. Yeah, we're not going to go into that. All right, um, 